Marie, also known as Girly Girl Style. And if you're brand new here, I'm a fashion stylist and online reseller on Poshmark. And I love clothes. Not even kidding, I love clothes. Um, and as an online reseller, one of the things that we run into sometimes is we purchase something to resell and as we are getting ready to you know, post it for sale, we find a flaw, we find something that says, oh no, I don't feel comfortable posting this. And that is the case today with this beautiful puffer vest. Now, why does this matter? You may be asking yourself, well, because today it really inspired me to film this video here. Uh, I love to look at what the up and coming trends are, seeing what's out there. Um, and one of the things that is always so noticeable is there are a lot of trends that are harder to wear or um, that are very expensive to wear. And so I like to take those trends and kind of break them down and make it so that anyone and everyone can you know, wear the trends and feel comfortable in what they're wearing. Now, I'm not a huge proponent of just jumping on every trend bandwagon at all, but if you find something that interests you, that makes you feel more like yourself, then go for it. And this vest is one of those things that I had no idea was even in my stylist back pocket. I didn't know that I would enjoy wearing it. Um, but Bill brought it to me this morning and said, hey, do you have a need for it? If not, it's getting donated. And then as soon as I put it on, I said, yes. Number one, I love the color. And number two, it is like 15 degrees here in Spokane, Washington. So win, win all the way around. But what I thought I'd do for you today is take a look at five different ways to style a puffer vest. Now I'm gonna use the same vest, but there are many different styles of puffer vests out there right now that are really on trend or very perfect. So you have the camo. So camo is very much in style right now. There are a lot of cute little puffer vests. In fact, I think we just picked one up recently to resell. Uh, in those darker colors, it can go with a lot of different things. You also have the patent leather puffers. So those sleeveless puffer, sleeveless puffer jackets can look really great in um, all different bright hues, different colors, just like this, or even your more neutral colors. So there are a lot of different puffer style vests out there. Um, I think I may have been saying jacket, but I have meant to say the vest, the sleeveless vest in particular, because it's a great layering piece, especially when you start getting into those colder months uh, and you just want something to throw on for a little added warmth. And you know, you don't really want to wear a Snuggie or a blanket in public. So the first outfit that I have, I'll actually be popping up the outfits here um, as we walk through them. So we can see five different ways to style a puffer vest. Let's take a look. It's the vest that we are going to be styling five different ways. She is really pretty. She's this yellow kind of chartreuse color, uh, has this nice little fur, faux fur, furry little section, and then this pop of color on the inside as well. So there are a lot of things happening with this gorgeous vest. Now, the first outfit that I'm putting together is definitely very um, inspired by the weather, the cold weather. So that is the reason for the outfit that is going to be number one. But let's take a look in my closet. So here's the thing, you know, you have this piece here and then you go into your closet and you think, well, what in the world can I put this with? Uh, so number one, you're getting a nice little sneak peek at my closet. It's almost finished. If I zoom out, um, I'm gonna show you not the finished pieces. My purses still need to be put together, but um, you'll see this is how my closet is set up. So first thing that I wanna decide is number one, you know, how do I wanna style this? What type of colors are going to complement it? And uh, one thing that I saw um, in some of the street wear was someone who had been, um, took the puffer vest and layered it with a crop top and a skirt. So I think I'm gonna go with that uh, first, but then yeah, let's see what else we can find. Basic white shirt, the basic white crop top. Could be nice underneath because that adds a little bit of color. So let's take that one. Oh. Mm. I love a stripe. Let's see. That's maybe, but it's a short sleeve. Let's see what else we can find. This took me a 
about five to six minutes to pull these outfits together. Uh, so number one, um, you've already seen the first outfit, or if you haven't, you will see it. That's the one that I was wearing. Uh, this outfit I chose with a plain turtleneck, which I love. And in fact, I'll show actually the images as we get in there. But um, this one I chose because the color of the skirt definitely has a cute little winter vibe. Here, taking the leather at leggings um, on trend and then with some stripes with a little pop of color, contrasting prints. Here, we're gonna wear a midi skirt with some sneakers, a little bit more streetwear inspired, and then trying to add <laughs> lots of color to that outfit. So let's see how they all work together and I'll walk through why I put them together. All right, well, I just finished wrapping the photo shoot. All together, it probably took like 45 minutes to pick out the outfits, to do the changes, to take the photographs, as well as to put them away because I am trying to keep my room as clean as possible because it can turn into a giant mess. So anyway, so went through those items there. Uh, so the first item, let's take a look at why I chose the, the outfits that I did to go with the puffer vest. Um, obviously you can see that I've ended, uh, wanted to get this filmed because I'm so hungry, I'm ready for dinner, so I'm gonna go through the pictures with you right now. So the first uh, way that I wore this was actually just a very casual, warm or cold weather inspired way to wear this. In fact, this is how I did wear this all day today. So this was just what I was going to wear anyway. And then I threw on a vest. Now it's really perfect because I had this oversized long um, tunic hoodie, which I really loved. And then I wore it over a pair of leggings that I had. And then those are my keen um, orange. So this nice little pop of color there, orange waterproof boots. And then of course you have a beanie for warmth. So that outfit in and of itself is a very nice warm or cold weather outfit. It kept me warm, that's for sure but it was missing a little more color. So adding the puffer vest to it not only kept me warm, but it also gave that really cool, um, you know, quilted texture and added some color. So I really, really loved that outfit there. I even really liked the print of the leggings. Um, it kind of brings out the chartreuse that's in the puffer vest without being too matchy matchy. So that is just a very casual way that you can wear this. Kind of think about it if you were gonna be wearing your yoga pants and sweatshirt during the day, uh, and then you just wanted to throw on your puffer vest to head outside when it got a little bit cooler. So that was look number one. So this next look here really um, is kind of a cute outfit that you could wear anytime. Of course, as it gets to be winter, it gets a little chilly to add a little bit of color and a little layering. What I did is I took this quilted floral mini skirt that I had and uh, put it with a pair of over the knee boots, which for me in colder months is a staple. And these actually had a very low heel so I could walk even if it's cold or snowy outside in them. And then a black turtleneck. So all of that would have worked together just fine without anything else. But adding that quilted vest and tucking it in uh, really gave it some, like I said, texture, a little bit of a different shape. So it kind of edged it up a little bit. So instead of being super sweet, which it would have been because it was the mini and it was floral um, and it was really pretty, it just kind of gave it that more of a winter's edge and that is why I chose that to go with the outfit. Plus the chartreuse actually pulled from the floral in the skirt. I know it was very, very um, minimal. You couldn't really, it wasn't matchy matchy. Again, it was complimentary, but I liked the way that those two worked together. The third outfit that I put together is something that I uh, would wear anyway. In fact, everything that I pulled um, for this photo shoot were actually directly from my own closet. So I love a black and white, this BDG sweater. Love it, it's oversized. It works so well with so many different things. I decided to pair it with these faux leather leggings, which are so on trend right now. Um, that look together is so amazing. And I put it with these floral booties from Free People that I just got. I've been having a really hard time styling them. They're a sock booty, but they're a kitten heel and they're a pointed toe. It's very challenging for me to find something to wear them with. Um, they're not very comfortable, so I probably will not be able to wear them out in public, but I did pull that outfit together with the vest so that I could pull the yellow from the shoes. And then again, add a little bit of a different look. So it, it's kind of like a rock and roll look, but then adding the vest just gives that color and texture, just like with um, all of the outfits that we have here. So a uh, great way to bring in that extra little 
little extra to the outfit. All right, now this look here, this was actually inspired, I saw last night I was watching YouTube and I was watching street style videos. And one thing that stood out to me was this amazing um, woman was wearing a crop top with a midi skirt and then she had worn a lot of layers together. So I thought this would be perfect to kind of do some layering here. So it is a mock neck crop top with the midi skirt, but then it has a little bit of, it's, it's a sports vibe. So you have the sneakers with it and then you add the vest for um, a definitely needed color. This outfit had nothing. There was no patterns. There was, I mean, there was a little texture in the top itself, but it was very much a flat outfit. It had to have something. And so that vest right there just took it to a whole nother level, made me feel very sporty, um, but really, um, it did tie the whole outfit together and it added that little warmth, um, especially over the denim coat. So the denim jacket, you can layer that. A lot of people don't think about layering jackets, but you can certainly layer the jacket um, and then put the vest over it. And I really liked the way that one felt for sure. And then the last outfit, this is the wild card. This is the crazy outfit. This is the one where most people are probably never going to put all of this together. But because there was so much color, you can either have like the previous outfit where it's very monochromatic or very, um, you know, basic, very neutral is the word I'm looking for, where you have an outfit that's very neutral and then you just have like a pop of color or you can take it to the next level. So what I did with this outfit here, is I did color everywhere. That's my thought is I went in and I said, what can I pull, what goes together? And so first of all, this color is so beautiful and it goes with red so well. So I thought immediately, how can I put this with red? And then I just got this floral dress from Poshmark and I really loved all the colors in it. And you know me and, and floral, I like this. So anyway, so I wanted to add that color in there. And then of course, with the beautiful chartreuse yellow color and then another shade of red. But that wasn't it because, I mean, you could see the boots. So that red is coming and the orange is coming from the dress itself. And it all looks like it kind of clashes, but it did go all together. So it felt like it went together for me. So that one was the wild card. It was just color everywhere, but adding a little bit more dimension to the outfit. I mean, I didn't need it, right? If I took this off, I could have worn the whole outfit together, but it just brought out some more brightness and made me feel very light and sunny and very happy, to be honest. It's just a very happy way to end the photo shoot. So those are the five ways that I took one puffer vest and uh, I was able to style it in ways that I would totally wear it. Uh, my question to you though is how would you style your puffer vest? If you had this vest, tell me in the comments how you would style it. What would be your go-to way to make it work for you? Uh, so also subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have a Poshmark closet, don't forget to leave that down below. I love to go in and look at everyone's closets and share um, while I'm there. And if you did like this content, again, let me know in the comments. I really love making stylist videos and I get a lot of great responses whenever I do them. Um, they just take a little bit more effort on my part, but I'm willing to put in the work if it's something that y'all want. So anyway, until next time, see ya!